Hello and welcome back to the channel. It's Echo Stretch. In this video, we're going to check out Lethal's Host, uh, his version 4. He just released not too long ago there. I think that we'll go ahead and check it out and see how well it runs. We'll even try rest mode with it. I believe it does have the new goal 10, which is 2.0 uh, B2. So we'll give it a go here. We'll just see how well it works. Let's go ahead and jump into our settings. We'll show you that I do not have the goal 10 options, as well as I don't have debug settings. Now we'll jump up to our network and go ahead and check it if it's not already checked. And we'll back out of there. We'll go ahead and launch our browser. We'll do the usual here. Close the window. Delete all there. Go into our browser history. Clear that as well. And then finally we'll go into our settings and delete our cookies and clear our website data. Now I've already added to my bookmark, so we're good to go. It is uh, Lethal's 9.00 test at version 4.0. Go ahead and launch it. Okay, and we'll give it a few moments to install the cache. As you can see, it goes pretty fast. Okay, looks like it's running the web kit right after. Okay, there's a memory error. Let's try it again. Okay, seems to be taking a little bit of time. I think it's going to be loading. It should tell us to uh, insert USB any moment. Okay, no, another memory error. Okay, insert USB. And then we'll just wait for the unsupported message to pop up. Okay, we'll go ahead and hit OK. Click OK to continue. Okay, Goal 10 2.0 be loaded. You can also send a payload to port 9020 now. Hmm. Okay, well let's go ahead and hit our PlayStation button. We'll go over to settings. You can see that we do have our Goal 10 options. We'll go ahead and enable them. And they both seem to work. Our debug settings should be down here, and all our options are in there. Let's go ahead and launch Cold War. Then we'll give it a few moments here to load up. We can go ahead and unplug our USB now, as we don't need it plugged in anymore. Okay, so once we do get in, we'll just jump into zombies there, and then we'll go ahead and test rest mode. I think this time I'm going to actually get right into a zombies match and see if we can do it. Okay, zombies. Uh, let's go ahead and just change, uh, it doesn't matter, we'll just, no, we'll go ahead and change the mode, let's go to round base, I think it's loading automatically here, oh no, we're good, okay, let's try that again. Definitely loading something. I'm not sure. Let's go ahead and hit our PlayStation button. Whatever it's loading, it is loading something. We can see that it is opened up. The, uh, the point of this here is just to test it rest mode to see if it's still open when we do come back in. So I've noticed that it's actually given us the message this time. Uh, from another host I tried, it didn't give us a message at all. It just went into rest mode, which was weird. But it was a different a different uh, goal 10, so. Okay, so my light is amber now, and it's flashing. We'll wait until it goes solid.
Okay, it's still blinking. Okay, so it's gone solid now. I'm going to go ahead and hit the PlayStation button on the controller. Okay, and I did hear the beep on the PlayStation. So I do know that it's booting up. The light is blue and it's pulsing. Okay, and there's our user account, so we'll go ahead and select it. Okay, looks like our game is still doing whatever it's doing. Ah, there we go. It's loading into Dead Ops. Okay, so we'll go ahead and hit the PlayStation button. We'll go over. We can see that our goal 10 is still there. Our, our two loaders here, our FTP and our bin loader, have been disabled. Um, later on in a newer version of goal 10, I would imagine that'll be fixed. But yeah, we'll go down. Our debug settings are there as well. But that's basically it for the video, guys. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.